Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and after all the hype of going fast and Crucible being saved and hero moments are back, I'm here with not my first impressions, but probably my third and fourth impressions of the new update. I've played a couple of hours of both PvP and PvE on both PC and console. I've tried out Rumble, I've tried out Competitive, I've used the new archetypes that are supposedly the new meta, and... This is just basically a sum of my thoughts. I'm going to keep playing, and uh, maybe in a week or two I'll update this. But as of right now, um, PvE and PvP, we'll touch slightly on PvE first. I think it does feel better with the increase in weapon damage. I think that that was something smart, and I feel better playing PvE. I feel more powerful. Still, there's nothing really to grind for. They added strike loot, but it's only for nightfalls. And to me, that's kind of a cop out and kind of crap because in Destiny 1, I know we're not supposed to compare the two, but there was strike specific loot like everywhere. And you could just run tr strikes and try to get it. PvP, on the other hand, is what I care about the most. I've played Rumble and it's very broken. Spawns are terrible. I think it's too high of a player count. There's eight right now. I think it needs to be dropped down. The game mode needs a serious amount of work for it to be fun, but it could be super fun. And that seems to be a running theme with Destiny 2. I've played a couple matches of competitive and the no radar thing does have its pros and cons. I do feel like I can lone wolf more, but more often than not, my teammates seem to just be completely unaware of their surroundings and just die super quickly also the lack of comms if you are in a pre-made fire team or using discord or anything like that is seriously hurting the game in my opinion comms should be opt out and not opt in but oh well pulse rifles feel a lot better in my opinion especially the autumn wind archetype which is around 450 rpm i actually really like the inaugural address that's probably my favorite gun to use right now but it's a uh, it's not in that same archetype the vigilance wing seems to be a fan favorite and reddit is like all over it and i guess for a pretty good reason it has a quick time to kill for both crits and body shots but i don't feel like the meta has changed drastically i still think that uriel's does really well in basically all areas and hand cannons were essentially left in the same position i know they adjusted the aim assist and stuff but that's not going to really matter the power weapon changes feel good to me right now i was worried that it would just be rocket spams but honestly it's just people using the colony and acreus which i do think that acreus is going to be hit with some type of nerf because that thing is a super outlier right now which is unfortunate but oh well snipers are still in a weird place and i hope that with the flinch reduction update coming i believe in may that they'll be more viable power weapons and the whole secondary um versus two primary thing i don't know i don't know where you go with that i can't imagine that they're gonna sit there and be like all right we were wrong and just completely go back to d1 primary special and uh heavy weapons because i don't think that i just don't think they'll do it i do think that snipers need more love linear fusion rifles feel great in pve pvp they're okay too i do enjoy using them from time to time in pvp but pve man linear fusion rifles destroy bosses all in all the update was okay there's way too much hype in my opinion which bungie seems to do more often than not with anything there's always a ton of hype and it always falls short so these are good quality of life changes, but they won't bring people back. Hopefully in May we see even more progression and reasons to play because honestly, that's what the game is missing the most. There's no reason to log on and grind stuff out. Yeah, they added new strike loot stuff, but there's that's not. There needs to be so much more. The whole loot system, everything needs to be revamped and expanded upon. Also, we still have 6v6 Iron Banner to try out, so who knows how that will shake out. That could be super fun, or 6v6 in this game could just be trash. Who knows? But let me know your guys' opinions down below. I do look forward to discussing this stuff with you. I really enjoy going through the comments, and even if you guys are, like, super against me and mean and everything, I still like to respond. It's super cool. So leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.